going to talk about virtual summer camps. Um, Ivy Camps ran a summer camp here in Dubai last year that my kids attended and absolutely loved. My son attended. He was five at the time. He, he attended a build your own business. So he made this cute little robot and he made a presentation in front of like 50 people. It was really sweet. And my daughter did theater and she had an absolute blast. So this year they're going to be doing it on an online platform. It's a lot for little kids to do in Dubai. There isn't a lot for older kids to do in Dubai. So what I'm really happy that the virtual summer camp is now offering is a wider range of things for younger and older kids. Um, hi everyone, my name is Alyssa LeBlanc. I'm a curriculum developer for um, Ivy Camps Dubai and I became CUSA and um, we are really really excited to get to share this programming material with you. Um, I've been a classroom teacher and have a master's in education and um, really have enjoyed teaching kids online during this whole um, pandemic so I'm really excited to get to share with you some of the things we've been working on. Nor Jenna. I uh, graduated from Georgetown University in DC. Um, hopefully, you know, we'll be going to Harvard for my master's, deciding on, you know, what the next steps are right now. And so I was a program lead myself, so I would have been what a camp counselor is um, years ago in Shanghai, China. Ended up becoming an assistant director in Singapore. Then I directed programs in Dubai, um, and now I am the the you know, director of Middle East operations. I, although I'm born and raised in America, my parents are from Middle Eastern uh, background themselves. And so you know, what it means to be able to, to kind of balance both in different markets. And so that's why conversations like this with you guys are super important um, because we're able to hear what your needs and demands are and really address those needs and demands. Um, so thank you for joining us. we'd like to play this video for you guys that way you kind of see especially how our test camps went but what it looks like being um, in camp with us at ivy camps usa you can experience the magic of camp at home So the wolf sneezed on the dinosaur. Then the wolf knocked on the stair. No longer me camp signs. <laughs> Let me in. I'll blow your house down. We have uniquely perfected the ability to instruct tomorrow's global leaders in all time zones through our one-of-a-kind, at-home, live and interactive camp programming. Campers are able to choose from over 10 camp programs that are taught by elite instructors in real time. Some of the highlights include entrepreneurship, public speaking, creative writing, computer science, and pre-university preparation. And I think you love this idea. I think you are really passionate about it and would work hard to make it successful. Right? Yeah, I've been like okay. practically dreaming of it since I was three years old. Me and my cousin have always wanted to start a business and I think right here is my chance. We promote confidence and independence among our campers through thoughtful mentorship, team building exercises, and above all else, fun. What is the climax? Um, the climax is Hansel and Gretel finding the witch's house. Yeah, let's move to another question. <laughs> Four paws, you had a question. My question is, why don't you just, why do you just sell to Lego builders? Because if you could, if you expanded your market and instead of just selling to Lego builders and selling to all people, because many other people could use this product other than Lego builders, you, 
you get a lot bigger sales. At Ivy Camps USA, we have unmatched expertise. All of our instructors and curriculum advisors come from the world's top universities and professional institutions. At Ivy Camps USA, your camper will be able to be coached by some of the brightest minds on the planet with our over 85 Ivy League instructors. Almost half of them hail from Harvard, Princeton, and Yale alone. I asked you to think about a fear that you were able to conquer or a new skill you learned which ultimately changed your life. Did you get a chance to think about that? Yes, I did. Okay, so bring it on. What did? What are you thinking about writing? So I recently, over the summer, volunteered at different retirement homes. And that honestly like really inspired me to write about going pre-med and possibly focusing on oncology. While we may be separated physically, our overarching goal is to transcend the two-dimensional aspect of online, to foster a deep sense of community and social connection. Safety is our number one priority. We leverage the most secure platforms to ensure that curriculum is delivered in a safe and fluid manner. Pig van, boom van, big van, boom van. My poor mouth can't say that. No, sir. My poor mouth is much too slow, sir. Well, then, bring your mouth this way. I'll find it something it can say. Oh, you're good. <laughs> that was very impressive. With existing operations in Singapore, Dubai, the US, Hong Kong, China, and Japan, we have a proven track record of forming life-changing connections with campers all around the world. At Ivy Camps Online, we provide campers the ultimate fun escape. With us, they are encouraged to act goofy, ask questions, explore challenging topics, and make new friends under the guidance of our first class instructors. Camp has never been so accessible. At least we get to be crazy people too, and we'll see you tomorrow for Shark Day. Time to go crazy. Wait, crazy time. Crazy time. As you guys can see, um, the test camps were run obviously in like the United States and then Singapore. The one in the United States, there were, it was build your own business. Singapore was creative expression. Uh, you saw a little bit of pre-university prep in there as well. There's like a, a couple in there, but obviously there's like a wide array as well and what it means to navigate our, our team or our online program. So if you were to go to the team um, tab, once it loads. Apologies. There you go. So uh, you'll need a little bit more about directors and, and things of the sort and backgrounds, but what you'll also get to do is see some of our staff and the quality of staff that we work with both in our in-person camps and in our virtual camps. So you'll, and then if you go to our online programs page, that's kind of where you'll find a lot of uh, really what's important for you and your camper. And um, so Leaders of Tomorrow is our businessy type camps that Marla mentioned that her kids kind of were under the umbrella of. Um, and so they did what would be build your own business on virtual is the same thing as young entrepreneurs for us. Then there's content is king YouTube creation, which people are really, really excited about. Um, and then there's being the CEO, uh, which also is a little bit more complex. You're still kind of thinking about a business idea, but you're going into negotiations and finance. 
Um, so that one's a little bit more complex as well. Then you have our creative expression where we're talking about music, theatrical performance, um, and then so you think you can dance, uh, which is also, I'm sure you guys know of the show. So there's a couple of that. The curriculum developer, Alyssa is working with someone who is a world-class champion in dance, um, who's traveled lit literally in international settings just to do dance. And so definitely some high curriculum there. Um, and he's, uh, he's insane. He's such a good dancer. I worked with him again last year in Singapore. Um, and, uh, you know, theater and music as well. When I was a program lead, I personally taught theater. So that was like my baby, but um, they're all great. I promise. Then we yes. Sorry to interrupt. Um, I just qu quick question. Is there age group recommendations for each of the type of courses there are? So all of these that I'm going over are from the ages six and seven to the age of 12. Okay. Uh, and I'll go over the 13 to 17 right after this, but it is the pre-university prep. Okay, so even like something that you were talking about complex, like the CEO course, for instance, that would be from ages six to 12? Yes, yeah. but the, the camps are split up by time. So the first option, so the moment you put in a child's age for seven years old, it'll actually only show you the option for the seven-year-old time. And then if you put in your option for a 10-year-old, it'll only show you the option for a 10-year-old time. So we have seven to nine-year-olds together and then 10 to 12 together. Um, and then anything for the seven to nine-year-old will be at a different uh, difficulty level as, you know, a... a an older kid would go through. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Of course. So the next one is mind, body, and spirit. Um, so that includes Ivy Camps Olympics, building a champion. I know that Alyssa is with us. If you guys have um, questions about the specifics of each camp, she'd be more than happy to go through it with you guys. Just know that it is also on our website. Um, and then there's yoga and free flow movement as well. So you know, there is some sports med in there too. So it's, it's a lot of fun and kind of going through that. Um, and then there's journey around the world, which we found really interesting just because our camps, at Ivy camps, they're not limited to just Dubai. Like your kids might be in a camp session and be with campers from other parts of the world that are in a similar time zone. So whether that be from Jordan, whether that be a kid from the US that's like, hey, I want to be, you know, I'm, I'm willing to, Kind of get up a little bit earlier and be in camps with kids in Dubai, they'll do that, they'll join. So this one's interesting as well. There's designing a better world, crafts, culture, and cooking, and then virtual field trips. Uh, virtual field trips we think is also pretty neat because, you know, we're all sitting in our homes this summer, but we're able to see different parts of the world um, as well. So we have virtual field trips, you know, all around the world, whether that be from Tunisia and the Middle East, Tunisia and Jordan to different parts in America, like San Francisco, New York, DC, to different parts of Malaysia, Cambodia. So there really are different parts. We even have a Brazil in there as well. Um, so it's really getting to visit other parts of the world with us. Um, STEAM discovery, so saving stories with STEAM, the science of motion and machines, and then game on. So this game on will talk about, you know, game theory, things of the sort science of motions and machines, and then saving stories with steam will be more of just, um, you know, classic like fairy tales that everyone knows from a child or from childhood and just kind of using objects such as, you know, zip line slides, bows, catapults. How would I kind of save X person? How would I, you know, kind of change that storyline uh, through science? The pre-university preparation is for 13 to 17 year olds. So that's university navigation behavior standardized task preparation, and then writing for university admissions. So all three parts really of, you know, before, during, and after kind of the application process. Um, and again, they're working with, you know, Ivy League instructors. And so what did it take for these students to get into the schools and they're in as well? If there were supplies that you needed, um, like for a course, like for science, like the catapult, or if you have to build things at home. We are, um, we, decided to try to use a lot of materials that would already be in your home, such as like recycled toilet paper rolls and things like that um, to utilize. And it's an optional list. So your child um, will have a whole list of these materials to try to get together before camp, which you'll be able to see in a materials list in your welcome packet, um, as well as potentially online. 
um, before you sign up or before camp starts. And they'll be able to select from that list what they would like to use to build their own item that day. is um, 10 to 15 minutes and then they'll move on after campfire and go into their kickoff and orientation which is about a total of 10 minutes they're kind of like learning time 10 to 15 um, and then they'll go into a movement break which is about 10 minutes which is a fun moving activity getting up exciting um, get, get being physically active, and then they'll move into their challenge or their activity time, which is about 30 to 40 minutes. And then back to campfire again, which is another 10 to 15 minutes at the end. Alyssa worked really hard to build a fun program. Alyssa, can you just walk them through what what is a campfire? Walk them through kind of the different steps of each day. Sure, absolutely. So camp online, the online time is an hour and 15 minutes. But after you finish camp, we'll have a camp activity for them and the campers will get to complete another extending activity after camp is over to kind of keep them engaged more so throughout the day. Um, and that it'll be a fun activity. It'll be, it's optional. It's not homework, but it's something fun that will keep them engaged and want to continue learning and kind of be ready for the next day of camp. Um, camp itself starts with something called campfire, trying to keep it with a kind of like a live authentic camp vibe um, and they'll have a virtual um, camp um, a picture of an actual campfire um, that's like a moving flame a, a gif and um, we'll get to start out with the traditional ivy camps cheers um, we have a whole list of them um, that our program leads will get to choose from to make sure it's authentic to them and they'll be excited about sharing it. And then we'll do icebreakers daily with each of the campers, really fun activities um, such as throwing a paper airplane and having a race or playing um, stand up, sit down or having a rock, paper, scissors tournament, things like that. So it's really things that are engaging and fun, get them excited for the day and really um, connect them because I think that's an important part of camp is building those relationships. Um, then we'll also talk about their badge system. Um, Danny um, has worked really hard on developing this amazing badge system where our campers will get to earn, I believe it's up to 16 badges. Is that correct, Danny? Yeah. And um, 10 of them are based off of, correct me if I'm wrong, 10 of them are based off of um, kind of character building and um, traits that we really want our young children to be learning. Um, so in terms of uh, engagement, we understand that campers have been on the screen. There has been a lot of screen time, but their screen time has not been gamified. So um, in, in our other programming, our physical locations, we realized by uh, creating like an incentive, like a physical incentive, we could get kids to be really plugged in, really par like participatory and collaborative and just all around rock stars. So what we were thinking like, how do we create this type of reward system in the virtual sphere? So we created a badge booklet that has a bunch of badges, everything from um, diligence to patience to we have the rock star badge to also program specific badges that encourage campers to really give it their all do the things that will allow them to get the most out of each of the programs and at the same time have fun. So the badge system allows you to level up. So in order to climb the ranks within a specific like skill set or character, character, character trait or um, curricular discipline, it, it takes a bit. So it does encourage kids to really try hard, stay plugged in, and it encourages friendly competition and camaraderie as well because uh, a lot of these badges require team building in order to to get them. Awesome. And so we'll use those badges and um, every morning the program lead will discuss with the campers um, who's earned what badges and kind of celebrate that. And then at the end of the day at camp, which I'll get to soon, they'll also share which badges they've earned that day um, or kind of throughout system we have that's more kind of campy and fun is um, just keeping track of every camper will get to create a nickname for themselves based off of the subtopic of the camp. So if it's build your own business, um, they could pick 
my, my name is Apple or my name is Dell or select anything that goes along with that kind of a camp. Um, and throughout the week, once they've selected their nickname, we'll have a kind of a challenge where campers earn points or they could lose points if they forget somebody's nickname or things like that and kind of just have kind of a race to kind of keep that camaraderie also going too. Um, so that's kind of the beginning portion of camp to kind of sit almost at a campfire and keep that Ivy Camps feel, um, so even virtually. And then we'll go into something called a kickoff, um, kind of like a hook to if you were teaching and a really exciting lesson, but this isn't school, so we keep it super fun and exciting. Um, whether it's a short mini video clip of a motivational person that goes along with um, your topic. For example, one day in the Ivy Camp Olympics, they're learning about um, the swimming event of the Olympics. And so they'll watch a video about Michael Phelps for two minutes, and then they'll practice um, like a, a Navy SEAL mock tryout where they're on the ground and actually trying out um, dry land swimming, things like that. And then they'll go into the activity portion for the day, which is kind of like their challenge. Um, and they have an orientation, we call it, which is kind of learning maybe what they might need to learn that day in order to complete that activity. And the activity portion of the day will be about 30, -ish, 30 to 35 minutes. Um, also with lots of breaks and exciting um, cheers and things in between and kind of keeping that conversation going with the program leads um, while they build and complete their activity, which is going to be something really hands on. Um, for example, building a guitar out of um, rubber bands and a tissue box and then learning how to play it and learning about vibration and sound. Um, and once they get to build those things, look at the share and test everything out. Um, and then we'll close camp again with campfire once more. We'll look over some more cheers, talk about their badges and things like that. We also have a movement break built in every day too, before they start the activity. Um, developmentally, we know that kids can't focus for more than their age plus two minutes on one thing. So we really tried to kind of break up the entire camp and make it really exciting and fun. The concoction we've come up with was two thirds fun, one third academic learning. Um, we found that that blend really lends itself well to camp. It reduces brain drain during the summer. So we think that's really important. But the other thing that we really are trying to do is create an atmosphere that feels like camp. So all of our, all of our instructors are really fun. We hire on personality basis primarily. And then, you know, they also have to have some other skill sets as well. But um, the other thing is we encourage our instructors to create a camp-like atmosphere. So in addition to like the visual mnemonics such as a campfire or kickoff or spirited songs, um, our instructors create virtual camp rooms with uh, using bit emojis and um, creating kind of like an avatar fun existence where campers do not feel like they're in a classroom. They're at their camp room. So, we're trying to create like an environment that does not feel like school. And I think so far uh, the proof is in the pudding. So what is the ratio for classes? Some of them we are having um, for at least the six to 12 year olds and correct me if I'm wrong, um, Danny and Danny and Arjana, but is up to 10 campers. Some camps um, might require more one-on-one -on -one individualized attention. So we maximize those out at six to eight campers and some are okay so for The up. ratios won't exceed one of five is the average ratio we have. And, and thus far, we've not even gotten close to that. Our average ratio is probably one of two to one of three. Hi, I'm Danny. Sorry, sorry to be late here. And then for timing, it's actually an hour and 15 minutes. Uh, we found that that was just ideal in terms of the attention span. So we did a lot of research and development and pilot programs before we launched our formal programs. And we just saw that campers have a limited attention span. And again, like we don't want this to feel like school. We want this to feel like this really fun injection of activity and um, I guess new learnings and understandings. So an hour and 15 seemed to be the sweet spot. And then that allows them to do the camptivity project afterwards um, on their own free time so that they have the rest of the day to do other activities. Um, and then there is the potential for them, um, depending on scheduling, if they want to do two programs, that would allow them to vary the disciplines that they're looking to, I guess, learn more about uh, throughout the summer. So I have to admit, 
I was highly skeptical in February when we were deciding whether we were going to try the online camp. Because camp to me, so I'm a camp guy through and through. Started camps over a decade ago here in Colorado, and definitely not a teacher. Only camp, summer camp is, I think it's the greatest thing in the world, um, not only for what kids get to do in their activities, but what camp promotes. Things like um, self-discovery and, and then social skills like tolerance and acceptance when you're, you're working with other kids and doing fun things. And, but you really get to be yourself in summer camp. And that is the goal. Kids get to have fun, explore who they are, find their passions, and do what they want. How in the world can we create that community online? That is a difficult premise. Once we started testing it, and we were testing in Singapore, we were testing in the U.S., um, we were shocked. The kids loved online camp. We were able to still create that community online and to the point where at the end of the week the kids wanted more camp. They wanted more. We can't believe camp's over. We want to come back next week. I'm like, well, sorry, guys. We're just developing and we're just testing it. We don't have any more camp for you next week. We can't do it. Um, so that was extremely encouraging. And the way camp is going this, these past few weeks as we launched here um, for the summertime has been tremendous. The kids, the community, how, it's, how it feels, it feels like real summer camp. And, and going in and joining the different camp groups has been, has been really fun. It's the highlight of my day is, is seeing how camp has developed. So the point here is I don't think we've lost the camp community feel by going online. Obviously, there is something that, is, that you cannot capture online that happens in person when kids are in person and, and playing together and interacting and physically able to play games together. That we can never recreate. So I would have to say, um, as a camp guy, if we in a perfect world without COVID, if we could say, okay, you can join an online camp or an in-person camp, I would advocate for an in-person camp, only because you have a, a little bit more of that, that in-person touch. But the online is pretty close, and it's doing a really good job in a situation that whereby we can't do in-person camps. Um, so in the future, I encourage in-person camps, but for now, I think this is a really good second best. The one thing I can say, though, while um, the beauty of, of like physical interaction and exploration is really great, um, to Danny's point, um, the cool thing about online camp is that campers have the ability to learn and have fun with kids all around the world, which if we were to be running a physical, physical camp, I, I acknowledge that Dubai and Singapore and Hong Kong are highly diverse communities. Um, however, campers in Dubai might be able to take a program with a kid in the Uni United States. And I think learn that type of learning is so, 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 so unique because campers are learning through the different perspectives, perspectives of others and also finding that beautiful commonality that I think is so, so important right now in light of everything that's going on. So I think this is the one thing that kind of outside of our amazing curricula and our awesome instructors, um, this is the one thing that really uh, sparks a difference among all other programs, whether it's physical or internet based. The only thing is it, the camp sounds outstanding and it sounds um, very organized, but when you, how many hours of a day could this potentially extend past an hour and 15 to go up to three hours, you know, just, just to give an idea, <laughs> you yeah. virtual babysitters. Now I'm, I'm, you know, I'm just trying to give a, a better idea. So then if parents want to extend that learning for their child, what they can expect out of that as well. Does that make sense? I think it's something like the, uh, the YouTube camp or the build your own business camp, that's going to be a lot more time intensive than perhaps um, if we, well, the theater camp, actually, you'd be practicing. Line. So I don't know. I don't know which one's less time intensive. Yoga, maybe. <laughs> yoga. Okay. Less practicing of yoga. Well, I thank you guys so much for your time. I think you've answered all of my questions. The video alone was, you can tell that you captured the, the feeling of camp in your online platform. Um, so I think it's going to be really exciting. And my kids, they still talk about their time at Ivy Camps. In fact, my daughter, it, 
did an entire summative assessment about around her time and the theater program and she created this website and all the skills that you learn from being involved in theater and she's just she's been really excited and Marcel is he did the business one and he's constantly like oh I can make a business out of this you know I'm going to sell these Legos or you know now he wants to make these gummy worms and sell them at school so uh, I really appreciate the the inspiration that the time my kids spent at your camp gave them and I really hope that you know other families in our group are able to use your guys' services as well because they were